What's up guys, we're here at BR Racing in Los Gatos, a trusted shop for service and also some upgrades. Today we got the GT3 in for a fire extinguisher installation. The car didn't come with the parts, so we're going to get it installed. We got the part order from Renline and we're going to get it installed on the passenger side. Let's have a look around at some really cool cars. You know it's serious when there's a GT3 Cup Challenge sticker on your trailer. Look how many championships these guys have won. So I really trust their advice. They have trophies on trophies on trophies. Just keeps going. It just keeps going. The winds keep piling up. Alright, let's head in and get the install started. I got Rico. He's putting the bracket together on the fire extinguisher. He's going to get it pre prefab before he inserts it to the car. We got the clip here, and there's a soft. Uh... That will be the wrong clip. That is a. Clip. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a clip with the soft, with the nylon strap. Quick release. There it is. Extinguisher gonna go in. And you have to remove the seat to put that in. Uh, just loosen it. Just loosen it. Let's have a look around while Rigo's working on that. We have a 997.2 black on black coupe Porsche 911 turbo with yellow seat belts, manual transmission. It looks to be just in beautiful shape. Uh, probably just getting some brakes or some wheels done. Beautiful car. All right, let's see how the fire extinguisher installs going. Quick release. Ah. That way the fire extinguisher comes out quickly. Okay. I recommend running out of the car first. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Run before you try to fight it, right? Yeah. That's right. That's a, it first locks. Okay. Let me pull it out. And then it inserts very easily. Okay. That's the lock position. Very subtle. Very right, subtle. Locks. Like one eighth click. Yes. And the fire extinguisher is placed here. Okay. Beautiful. 996. 996 turbo. I'm not sure which gen. Manual transmission. Looks like uh, cognac leather. Beautiful car. I'm really starting to like these 996s again. Well, this one has the OZ racing wheels, aftermarket wheels. Pretty cool. This blue on tan color combination is really classic from this model. All right, let's show the viewers how the fire extinguisher fits. So we have the actual bracket in. Let's take some measurements. Let's get the fire extinguisher fitted. Uh, there is some adjustments you can make with how far it sticks out. And we're also gonna have to decide which way we want the extinguisher to face. Is it gonna face uh, forward? Or is it gonna face um, uh, the rear? And is it gonna be nozzle on the right or nozzle on the left. That's all uh, decisions we're gonna have to make because it's, it's, it's gonna be uh, pretty fixed, non-adjustable without uh, using some tools. All right, let's head back outside for another look at some gems. We've got a 997.1 C, C2 Cabriolet manual transmission got a gray interior. I'm assuming it's meteor gray. Please let me know the color combination in the comments. I'm not sure what kind of red this is, but it's really nice. It's more of a burgundy. And as all Porsches, of course, it's been on the track. We have an obligatory track sticker. Beautiful. Just look at these louvers, man. When they come up, signature 911. All right, let's go back to the shop. 
El fuego no bueno. No. El fuego no bueno en el dance That's right. <laughs> so the seat needs to be taken out one more time and there's some drilling that needs to be done. So if you don't want to see drilling, please close your eyes. We're drilling into the GT3. Oh no, what are you doing? I can't watch. I need to go look at some other cars. But check this out, this Cayman S. It's a great way to get into the Porsche brand. It's a nice, light, balanced, mid-engine car. This one has a PDK, black leather interior. Pretty sweet little car. Probably handles like a dream on the corners too. Pretty clean. White all around. Alloy wheels and clear headlights. I like this car. I don't hear any more drilling. Let's go see if the GT3 surgery is done. Here's what it looks like before the seat's put back in. Well, I've got you here. Take a look at all the red stitching and the carbon fiber throughout the car, all the way onto the doors. Nicely paired with the Alcantara. Just a beautiful combination all the way. Just, just encasing you in beautiful, beautiful touches. Let's go look at the GT3 outside. 991.1 GT3 in lava orange with some mods, tow hook, tinted side markers, gloss, lower gloss, side view mirrors, got some racing letters, racing harness and matching lava orange, excuse me, uh, racing harness in black, lava orange, roll cage. Porsche lettering on the rear spoiler. Smaller, smaller lettering. Porsche lettering in black. Just a beautiful car. This is a beautiful car. Alcantara steering wheel. Wow. What a beauty. Let's go look at the other Porsches in the shop. Eight the 991.1 C2S. You can see the beautiful engine work and the exhaust coming out the back. It's got some seasoning from being driven. Just a beautiful piece of art. See the underbody tray. Here's a reason to stay off your cell phone when you're driving. This Porsche driver rashed a wheel, bent the strut, and damaged some more parts. Ouchie, ouchie. Driver will remain anonymous. Let's <laughs> check in on the GT3. It would be locked. So it's in, okay. And how do we get it out? Just pull it up. Pull it out. There it is, ready to use. And once the duct tape gives Where's in a little bit, out? it won't be nearly as hard. Okay. So that's down. Yep. No, always make sure that you lock it. Ah, locked is push it further push down. It further forward. Further forward. forward. Okay. Great. Looks good. Check out this green GT4 Club Sport. This is a pure race car. No insulation, no excuses, no apologies. This is just absolutely awesome. Wow, this would be so much fun to take on the racetrack. Here we are inside the Club Coupe. It's a PDK transmission, not offered on the regular GT4. This is full on race setup with the Hans harness hookups, stripped out interior, racing slicks, look at these slick tires. It's got the graphics, kind of like the um, 918 Spider with the Y-Sac. 
carbon wing. Look at this dry carbon wing. Everything's exposed for lightweight. Now we're going to head inside for a special look at an incredible race car with the owner of the shop. I'm here with Bruce, the owner of the shop. Amazing place. You want to give us the rundown on this beautiful, beautiful race car? Sure, so the car is a 2017 Leger LMP3 or Le Mans prototype class 3. International World Endurance Championship level car. Um, runs with a Nissan Triton Dry Sun V8. Uh, full extract sequential gearbox. Car weighs about 1,750 pounds and produces 1,300 pounds of downforce. And on Tuesday of this week, we broke the official track record at Thunder Hill for any type car, including formula cars. Um, the car is incredibly quick. Uh, produces lots of downforce, has lots of stick. It's an amazing car to drive. You heard it from the man. Let's have a closer look. Record holder at Thunder Hill. This thing is no compromises. Look at the hardware. Wow. How many horsepower does it make? Um, in detuned, it's detuned to meet the LMP3 specs. So right now it's out about 440 horsepower. 440 horsepower and lightweight. Wow. How does a driver get in? <laughs> so the driver sits on this side. Although we have a seat in there for passengers too. That's incredible. It's like the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. Let me come around to that side. Everything seems tame compared to this car. It just produces a lot more downforce than what most people will ever experience. So single driver seat. You guys are in full radio contact with mm -hmm. the driver? Yeah, we run both data acquisition, live data telemetry, and then full radio. How much fuel does it hold? I believe it has a 100 liter fuel cell. The door is so light. I mean, there's zero insulation, just pure aerodynamics and strength. Wow, look at that. And how long do the tires last? Well, it depends on how fast you want to go. How many did you use on your record breaking lap? We put on a brand new set. One brand new set? Wow. Amazing. We run two different compounds on the front and the rear to adjust the grip level. And so we run a slightly softer compound on the front versus the medium compound on the rear. The Michelin races. And how many attempts did it take to get the record? Just one. Wow, one shot. Do you think you can beat it next time? Uh, yeah, we believe we have a little more front grip that we can dial in. So we've been testing and driving the car for about a year. Um, and the driver that was in the car was Christian Fittipaldi. Oh, um, wow. Christian was with us. He's one of our associate team members. Uh, Christian helps us in the development set up of the race cars and so he was able to drive the car and break the record. Well congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. Another one on the chalkboard. Yep. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. What I learned from this was factory option fire extinguisher is about $120. Aftermarket five times that it's about $750. Although it definitely more customized look with options. If you're thinking about ever going on the track, please check that box for a factory fire extinguisher. All right, cheers. See you on the next video.